Hello. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Yonder Craft. In this episode, we're focusing mostly on finishing up some desks. Because I have a lot of rooms that have beds, but no desk. And some other amenities, like bookshelves are fun. So we're just gonna be doing this this episode. Um, would like to note this is the second to last episode of Yondercraft Season 1. 116 drops uh, in a few days as of recording and also as of this video. And we're going to be doing a move to season two. Hello, Thunder. Once, you know, once 116 drops and we're confident that there's going to be no issues with it. So... This is the second to last episode, and it is in this episode. Oh, Chickadee doesn't have... That's because I don't have her head. That's alright. This is the second to last episode because the uh, this server actually ends in like a week. So I have that much time to finish up B1. And then, what I'm going to do after is, once I finish all of these rooms up and try and finish maybe the rec room or something, uh, the very last episode is going to be an honest critique of my base and a base tour. like to do a world tour admittedly but oh Eve already has I'll put a flower in there I would like to do a world tour but I myself uh, okay Sai is done as well lack enough knowledge about the world to be able to do a world tour. Uh, I don't have enough flint for this. I'll have to go get some. Uh, yes. Good. Okay. But for now, we're just gonna vibe. And we're gonna have fun. Finishing up the rooms of, I think, everyone who plays on the server. Oh, this still doesn't... Let me go get the concrete. I do have the solution. I just have to retrieve it. That's not gravel. I think I have the solution. But it would have... Okay, this is not enough. Um, here it is. I told you I had the solution. So, uh, after this, there'll be the world tour episode, and, or the base tour episode, and, uh, Yondercraft will be done until season two starts in about a month. Um, I'll blabber more about that. Uh, probably during- yeah, during the world tour. I'll fix that later. Um. Who? Right, I have a list of people who were supposed to receive a room. And I know darn well one of them didn't. 
Toshi. Okay. Er. Yeah. So if I have sandstone on me, that'll be good. I do. Perfect. Is this uh, bookshelves too? I'm genius. Okay. I can't make flint. All right. So we're just gonna finish up what we can of B1. There is no way I'm going to be. I'm seriously one sandstone short. This is going to. I hate this. Um, let me go find a block I can use. So, you know, just do bones. Just gonna finish what we can. Missed. Oh, yeah. Um, some friends <laughs> came through and got lost. And they put signs everywhere. Uh, we'll read them next episode. That's not what I wanted the block for. Um, smart. There we go. Just... There we go, and... Ta-da! Alright. So... The next important thing, I think, is the computers that every single room has to have. Uh, this is a requirement because how else are we supposed to play Minecraft together? Um, I have paintings on me, but I surely do not have enough. Let me find... I have a box full of wood. Probably It's right here in it. Yes, okay. I'm a very smart Minecraft player. We're just gonna make some paintings. Because we need them. And okay, yeah, this is Draco's room. And then we begin. not how you do paintings. There we go. So the computers are fairly easy to do actually when you remember where you're supposed to put them. Darn it. Uh, and also how you're supposed to do them. Like really they genuinely work amazing. I forgot to grab wood for chairs. This is quite simple. This is a completed desk. You've got your monitor, your mouse, your computer, and your chair. And I will probably actually stick a Draco armor stand in there after I steal more leather from Glitch, probably. I do- t I typically- I used to put the computers, like, right next to where the monitor was, because that's how my computer is in real life, but, you know. Uh, not all computers are gonna be the same way. I see no reason why I shouldn't be able to put the computer wherever I please, so I will. No, it's really quite simple when you don't put a stair in front of the computer. I'm just really good at making sure 
that the computers are either going to be in an awkward position or next to the bed, aren't I? It's alright though. Sometimes your computers are in an awkward position or next to the bed, and that's okay. You live with it. And once this is done, the entirety of the rooms will be done, and I'll be able to call B1 mostly finished. Not fully finished. If I need a Fletcher's table for this. Uh, not fully finished, of course. Because... Okay, what if I... Haha, hee hoo. Uh, not fully finished because there's still- you don't have a bookshelf. Um, there's still a whole rec room that isn't done, uh, and yeah, there's- there's a lot of stuff that I didn't finish, uh, including but not limited to the entire medical center. I can't put that there. Um, the entire medical center. No. The in I'm repeating myself a lot. Not limited, but not including, but not limited to the entire medical center, uh, the rec room, a lot of things like that. Uh, didn't get finished in the slightest. Which, you know. I, I have to be okay with that. That is a failing on my part, but one that I couldn't exactly help. So, I have no choice but to be okay with it, really. So. We go now they all have computers uh, I'm gonna dump all my wood off get my bookshelves for the few rooms that don't have those and then I'm gonna get my heads and my armor stands and go take some leather because I know my friends have leather and also flint and we're late enough in the game where few people are going to mind my thievery. Glitch actually like actively encourages it. Just sweet of her. Back into the shulker you go. And off to a friend's base I am. So the only head that I actually have is my own head. Which means that we get to stick me in my own room. Uh, fun stuff, let's give me some arms, you know, and then we'll just, is pose it. So that's pretty good. I think I want to tilt the head. So we need to set this back to what it was at and then we'll just, there we go. And now, we lock. I am a fool. Can't believe I forgot to do this. Uh, I need to put the cup. Okay, never mind. G give me, g no. I'll use another stand for the cup. And it'll look something. Put a cup in the hand. So. There's my armor stand. I think it looks nice. Uh, there's one specific thing it is missing, though. Something very important. And that's my cane. So, now this is done. And, you know, I think... I 
think it looks quite nice. It's, it's twins. Yeah? Yeah. So the last thing I want to do is put some carpets in some of these rooms. Not all of them. Just some. Especially the ones that this is Eve's room, right? I'm not screwing. No, this is Thomas. I am screwing this up. Eve is one over. And Eve's base is very colorful, so Eve definitely needs a carpet. Another room that definitely needs a carpet is the guest room, because otherwise it's really kind of bland. And, you know, we don't want anything being super bland. That's not good. And one final room that I'm gonna give a carpet is Wall's room. Because, again, this is kind of a bland room. It needs a pop of color. So, you know, there we go. Now there's one last thing to do before we call this project done. And that's put all the stuff away. So, oh nope, slime balls go in the next shulker over. I sure have more of them than I thought I did. This can go in here. Alright. So, now... Now we clean up the shulkers and crafting bench. And I pray that I have enough inventory space for this, which I, I do. Okay. So my handy boxes, then my mob drops, then my armor stand boxes, then my wood box, and my dyes box, and then my book box, and my bones. And crafting bench. And there is my ender chest. And that's it. That is all of the rooms in B1 done. There is one for every single Beyonder who will be coming to season two, I believe, uh, including a guest room because I don't know if I have my count right. And that, that's it. This, this is the end of working on this base. So, thank you for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, I hope you had a great day. Or, I hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, I hope your day has been great. And if you're part of the afternoon crew, well, I hope your day is going alright. I've been Ruby Robotic, and I will catch y'all in the next episode.